went over to a buddy's house, kind of did a rough layout of all of this. It's going into a 80s S10 single cab that will be a 6.2 liter LSA supercharger. So this is going in front. Basically the front headlight will be right here on the passenger side. And then this will be going over the wheel well, mounting really nice and flush around there. Nice big four inch Pro Works cap. 12 inch ANs right there, right there. And then uh, the drain will go right in here. So kind of doing a rough mock-up because I'm gonna have this thrown into a CAD file and then I want to be able to make these and sell these and so forth for a bunch of different stuff and different uh, setups. So actually on the back of this, we're going to be welding on, later we will be welding on a little overflow coolant reservoir. And then we're probably doing another tank, but we're not 100% sure on what yet. So this is pretty much my rough mock-up. Use those USPS boxes. They work pretty swell, the razor blade and my square. But uh, yeah, I'll kind of update you guys as we go here. I'm going to get this into, a, basically get it into a CAD file and go from there. Probably will be making some of these pieces out of some uh, scrap aluminum that I have and getting a rough mock-up and making sure everything is perfect. saw this get cut out on the plasma table so now we got it sitting here and I'm gonna do the first prep I just uh, kind of gave this a wipe down because it looked like this <laughs> all right there's our 80 grit DA digging that look so we're gonna get right on over to the bender and bend this up and hopefully we'll be having something that looks a little bit like this. Stuff. So I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna grab our die. I'm gonna grab this. So what we wanna do is bend where the most material is first because we're going a little overkill for this bender, but we make it work with these little relief slots and then just weld up that little area once it's all bent up. So I'll show you that right now. It's 90. Left a little bit of a die mark just from the just from the paint. But other than that, you can tell it it bends it out really nice, even with it being a little overkill. This brake only says it's good for 16 gauge. This is actually uh, 10 gauge. So it's a little bit of persuasion. It can be done and if you are able to use a full length of the die, it will help a lot because you'll be using the whole surface of the magnet. 
So I'll flip it. Do the same thing. Wow, just like that, we got a not so flat piece of metal anymore. So, uh, fitment pretty decent, you know, it's not perfect. That's what you get with a little handbrake, but uh, it's pretty damn good for uh, what it is. And I'm getting away with doing a thicker material than I should be. So I'm super happy with how this is coming this out. Thing on. I'm gonna show you guys my settings here. Those are not what I'm going to use. I'm going to start about 150s. I probably won't use all of that. I might end up using a little more in some areas, like the fittings. But uh, we're going to start there. We're going to run uh, AC frequency, our hertz. We're going to run it right there. I'm going to go 65 for my balance, or uh, 30, 35. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. No pulse, no none of that. Just uh, advanced square wave. And yeah, that's how it should be hooked up. I'm running a 332nd 5356 rod and a 8th uh, inch tungsten. It's actually a CK Worldwide laser tungsten, 8th inch. And uh, another number eight, number eight cup with a gas lens. Okay, so I'm throwing the fittings in now that I got the box all tacked up. So I got some Dash 10 AN fittings here. And basically I'm just gonna weld them from the inside as you guys can see on the time lapse that we got going here. So I'm gonna tack them up from the inside. I have basically all that I do to do this. is This is my quick little way of doing it. It's nothing special.
top all welded up. She looking good. Got Tim in the background doing a bunch of crap. <laughs> yeah, that goes in good. Gotta put the gasket back on it. But uh, now I'm just gonna weld up all the seams that are open and then I just gotta weld up the two fittings and then we'll be all done and we'll go on to rolling out the sheet for the bottom. this basically where I want it good fitment so we're gonna get it all tacked up fitting for this little mount got me a hole we're gonna flush mount that sucker and then uh, that will be done and then we got the little fitting for here so we can pressure test it and we're gonna go with no leaks right now so let's weld this in and then uh, get to pressure testing and pray for no leaks Got that bad boy all welded in, did it in one pass, nice and flush. I'm just gonna keep it like that. And we got our little screw here. We ended up having to chop that a little shorter, but that works out minty there. Nice bung. So we're gonna flip it over here. We're gonna try to pressure test it. So I was just going to go to pressure test it and completely forgot that we had to put a little angle iron bracket on it like I said before. So I actually stopped over at Brock's house and I took a measurement for the angle for the bracket. So we're going to be making a new bracket because the one that we have, this one that I showed you before is just a little too big and I need the hole to actually be off center kind of over in this corner a little bit just the way that this fits and everything. So I just bent up a new bracket with some scrap. Thank you. 
Okay guys, I got the pressure test set up. It's pretty ghetto, but I got the air compressor set to 15 pounds and I'm gonna start spraying. This thing had no leaks, came out super good. I'm super happy with how it is. So now basically all I have to do in the future is click cut and have this thing cut out on the plasma table. I'll come bend it all up over here and we'll have a product to be able to sell. So if anyone's interested, let me know. Either way, I'm super happy with the first little product here. So check me out on Instagram, Jack Fabrication. And uh, yeah, we'll keep doing some cool aluminum. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. We, uh, we'll be doing a little more of uh, this aluminum work. So uh, subscribe, check this stuff out. I got a lot of cool stuff coming. Peace out, guys. Thank you.